Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Look at yourself, Dust Lasers, Peasants, Passes, Minions. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to go back to Mesopotamia, where there's another clusterfuck. And um, this one involves ISIS, of course. And the big story right now is uh, all of these airdrops of supplies and weapons uh, to ISIS from uh, both U.S. planes and uh, British planes. And uh, I see the Western press is trying to play this down, but it's uh, certainly getting a lot of uh, airplay in uh, alternative media. And uh, what we have, uh, very dramatically, we have an, uh, actually an Iraqi parliament member saying that, quote, the available information pointed out that U.S. planes are supplying ISIS and that they are not serious in fighting against ISIS because they have the technological power to determine the presence of ISIS and destroy them in one month. Unquote. And we've heard that same uh, uh, idea expressed uh, before uh, in different uh, commentaries about the idea that the United States has the, the wherewithal uh, to take care of this I ISIS situation fairly quickly if they wanted to. And although that's arguable, um, that's a, a topic for another video. So let's get back to um, what's going on here because we have numerous events. Uh, uh, everyone probably remembers back in December when the first time this happened uh, it was an, uh, portrayed as an embarrassing accident that uh, equipment when it was uh, delivered and ISIS even posted videos of their uh, getting this equipment. But now we have uh, uh, report after report after report uh, admittedly uh, poorly documented that talks about all these different uh, uh, airdrops in December, January, and February um, food, uh, uh, specifically in northern Iraq around Kurdish regions into Crete. Uh, March 1st, there was supposedly a U.S. helicopter shot down by Iraqi militia uh, dropping weapons to ISIS. Um, and then uh, they say that uh, EU and United States and Israeli weapons have been discovered in the hands of ISIS. And uh, we've even had one report of uh, a, a number of uh, uh, advisors to ISIS being detained, three Americans and Israeli. But once again, uh, none of this has been uh, uh, documented to, to my satisfaction. But the, just the sheer number of the re these reports is, is really getting interesting. And then, of course, the more recent one with two British planes uh, shot down carrying weapons to ISIS. And... Uh, so it, 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 it brings back the question about uh, who, who are ISIS and who, who created them, how, how do they exist? And, and I noticed that even though most of the uh, pundits uh, had already discussed this whole idea of how ISIS came about and where their funding comes from and where their weapons come from and all that, uh, many, many months ago, if not a year ago, uh, now all of a sudden we, I see a lot of major players out there and alternative media once again discussing this idea about where ISIS came from. So I'm going to uh, have them as Western puppets. I, I think I'm going to take a little broader view than what I've seen. And uh, so let's uh, go from the premise that perhaps uh, uh, just for uh, just for fuck's sake, let's uh, discuss the idea that ISIS is a Western operation and uh, what what supports that possibility. Besides the fact that now we have uh, dozens and dozens of, of these reports of uh, U.S. and uh, coalition forces supplying uh, weapons and food to ISIS. Well, some of the things that are certainly suspect are, uh, one of them is that uh, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi uh, was held at a U.S.-run detention facility at Camp Bukha from 2005 to 2009, uh, theoretically. Um, and he is the leader of ISIS now. Uh, we also know that uh, various uh, forces uh, aligned against Assad uh, were trained in, in different facilities, including uh, in, in secret Jordanian facilities. So there's some reference, and there's been uh, uh, various uh, uh, characters coming out, uh, including some uh, uh, Muslim clerics, claiming that that's where the, uh, these uh, ISIS people came from is this Jordanian side. And then we have, of course, uh, all this talk about the war going on for decades, and that seems rather convenient um, for uh, a U.S. Uh, policy for the, the war to go on decades. 
Uh, once again, theoretically, there are those that say that uh, if the U.S. really wanted to deal with ISIS, they could do it in short order. Um, and then the fact that they appear uh, in Iraq in 2006, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, they came to prominence just at the very moment when uh, the Syria, uh, U.S., uh, possible Syria war with Syria by the U.S. was derailed by uh, Russian intervention and Russian uh, negotiations. And uh, ironically, uh, uh, ISIS seemed to appear out of nowhere at that moment. And uh, so they came into, a, 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 into play as a, another attempt to uh, topple Assad in Syria. And uh, this deal was brokered by Russia. And uh, let's remember, this is a point, too, where McCain and uh, his connections uh, with and meeting ISIS, uh, which he, he bragged about at one point. And uh, so then we have uh, all these supposed chemical weapons threats that never came to be. Uh, we have all these uh, weapons uh, going to the FSA. And so the U.S. is funding all this money and training and weapons to the FSA, which for all practical purposes doesn't seem to exist. So all these weapons seem to be falling into the hands of ISIS conveniently, um, not the least of which was the stunning uh, victory of ISIS over uh, the, uh, supposedly these massive Iraqi forces heavily armed by the United States, um, which is certainly a major plank in, for anyone that wants to argue that uh, the, the U.S. somehow wants uh, ISIS to exist. Um, the the ultraviolence, uh, whether the, the these videos we see are uh, uh, digitally altered or whether they're or they're they're real um, certainly all the violence that we've seen in these videos uh, could be carefully calculated I don't want to uh, uh, rule that out uh, the forces in play are cynical enough to make those fake videos but let's say they're real well uh, that said uh, just this level of violence they had to up the ante because pretty much uh, people in the world certainly Americans getting anesthetized for, uh, to the daily kind of violence that they see in the Middle East. So the ante had to be up. And in fact, it's interesting that ISIS is media savvy enough to know they have to keep upping the ante. So the beheading is getting to the point where now we even have an uh, Israeli uh, uh, foreign minister joking about cutting off people's heads because we're already used to that. So ISIS then had to uh, burn somebody alive, uh, these mass beheadings, dropping uh, people off of buildings, and now the latest having a child do an execution. Um, it's very, uh, very media savvy. And that's another thing about uh, ISIS that certainly points to uh, potential uh, uh, Western manufacture um, is just the, the, uh, the savvy nature of their propaganda machine and using uh, social networking and using all the capabilities of social networking and using them uh, like pros, uh, like the government would, and um, and then the fact that they're very oil business savvy it didn't take very long for ISIS to uh, get into the market, and uh, so for su what supposedly is a you know ragtag band of uh, insane, bloodthirsty jihadists, the fact that they can organize and set up uh, this state uh, bespeaks of uh, some other. Uh, influences and interests and bad actors involved in this. Um, and like I say, the oil business savvy, they've been able to uh, fund their operation through a lot of uh, black market oil business, which is uh, can be very complicated. Um, and uh, we, we also have all the, the Muslims fighting against each other, uh, which is uh, certainly suits the interests of, of the United States and uh, Israel. Uh, and then we have the, this complete demonization of Islam now, which is a very important part of this. Um, it was to the point where Al-Qaeda wasn't enough to completely demonize uh, Islam. And all the things that have been going on in the Middle East was not quite enough to completely demonize Islam. But the, the very extreme nature of uh, uh, ISIS to the point of being very anti-Islamic uh, has become uh, the, a complete demonization of Islam that uh, is surpassing their wildest dreams. Um, and then we have uh, the destruction of regional history. This is something we see uh, going on right now. Um, this cultural heritage that uh, ISIS is destroying across the Middle East. It seems rather odd to me, once again, 
that uh, people who are raised in that region, regardless of of this uh, extreme Islamic belief against uh, idols and worshiping idols, um, it still is hard to believe that they can muster uh, enough people to uh, want to do that. It seems, once again, like that might be something the West would be interested in doing, uh, obliterating um, the regional history. Um, and then we have also have all these uh, uh, leaders, connections, you know, all through uh, the ISIS organization, and people that seem to pop up uh, all seem to have uh, connections to the CIA, Mossad, and Saudi Arabia somehow. And so it's sort of, sort of hard not to uh, factor that in. Um, and then one of the more, uh, uh, more uh, compelling pieces of evidence I've seen, uh, oh, let's talk about the involvement of Turkey as well before I get to that. Um, there's a, uh, last November in 2014, there's a Newsweek uh, article, an interview with an ex-ISIS member, and he talked about extensive collaboration uh, between ISIS and Turkey. And, uh, uh, and, and this uh, article provi provided a certain amount of documentation of cooperation on all, on all levels. And uh, we've also seen uh, uh, January 2015 an expose of Turkish support for ISIS in uh, Turkish media as well. And um, so we have this uh, Turkey, Turkish connection as well. And then also the connection between uh, the interaction between Israel and ISIS, Al Nusra Front, Al Qaeda, whoever, forces uh, on the Golan Heights, including a, a documented uh, e e exchange um, and uh, crossing of the border, as well as uh, hospital services uh, for wounded members. And uh, that's something I've done a video before uh, before about, and I'll attach it below. But uh, so we also have all these uh, other players uh, involved in this scenario who also uh, are allies who have a connection, Israel, the United States, um, certainly the UK, and um, Saudi Arabia to a certain extent. So we have um, all those connections. But one of the more striking things that uh, I've seen is a uh, uh, a uh, note about uh, uh, Department of Justice lawyer John Yoon, you might remember him for uh, helping to uh, uh, advance the uh, legitimacy of torture. But in 2005, he suggested an idea that the U.S. should go on the offensive against Al-Qaeda by having the U.S. and allied intelligence agencies create a false terrorist organization. It could have its own websites, recruitment centers, training camps, and fundraising operations. It could launch fake terrorist operations and claim credit for real terrorist strikes, helping to sow confusion within Al-Qaeda's ranks, causing operatives to doubt each other's identities and to question the validity of communications." Unquote. A very provocative uh, idea in light, particularly when you look at the fact that that was something that came up in 2005 uh, from Department of Justice lawyer John Yu, and uh, we have the supposed first appearance of uh, ISIS at, uh, at, in 2006, so the following year, and then this, this meteor, uh, uh, meteor rock rise um, to seemingly come out of nowhere and take over uh, most of that region. So, uh, so anyway, there's a lot of reasons to uh, believe, uh, or at least uh, keep ourselves open to the idea um, that uh, it's hard to, to even just come out and say it, but uh, the, the, the whole uh, idea that ISIS could be manufactured. And uh, certainly there's a number of ways that can be done um, that address all the criticisms of that idea. For example, uh, as I've mentioned on video after video, one needs only to control the, uh, the leadership or certainly uh, uh, be able to guide the leadership. Um, and uh, so one doesn't necessarily have to uh, control all the throngs and have all the throngs and grunts and, and foot soldiers of ISIS be uh, on board with the conspiracy. You only have to uh, to uh, control the head uh, to make the whole snake dance. So, uh, so anyway, um, in timely fashion, there we have it. ISIS, uh, Western Puppets. Uh, a manufactured 
a crisis, um, a charade in progress. Um, who knows? Um, I'm a useful idiot. You'll be one too.